So, uh, welcome to our Arduino um, online appearance. Um, as it appears in uh, Tinkercad in software form. It's just an image which has been taken, but you can be able to get uh, the output and the input very clearly so that we can use it to simulate the uh, different uh, projects or any kind of connection that we want to uh, do a simulation using Arduino. Mm. So uh, basically, it has a number of sections which I would want to uh, describe uh, briefly so that you can actually be able to understand how it appears physically. Uh, from the outside, and um, most probably this can actually be able to, or can enable us to uh, use it uh, properly in uh, an online mm -hmm. setup. So it has inputs and outputs. And if you look at uh, all these ports we have up here and the ones we have down here, will basically be acting as inputs and outputs. Uh, they are usually divided into uh, the sections. We have the digital sections, and we also have the analog sections, and also we have the power section. So if I look at the digital section, you realize we have digital ports which are starting from zero all the way to 13. This will be able to act as digital inputs and also uh, digital outputs. Um, uh, please note that when you're talking about digital input and digital output, uh, it means they can either give us an on or an off, which is basically a high or a low. Um, but if you look at uh, a few of them, uh, which the ones which have got a tilde, that is three, five, six, 9, 10, and 11, they are actually meant to simulate uh, analog output because we only have analog inputs here. Uh, these ports, which are labeled PWM with a tilt, will actually enable us to get our analog uh, outputs. And they are given by 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11, as I've indicated earlier. Uh, zero and one um, are also another function, uh, which is basically the transmit and the receive. You can see they indicated here TX and RX, which means when you want to receive um, a signal, most probably from a wireless device like Bluetooth or you have a Wi Fi or any other device, then you can actually be able to connect them here where you can uh, transmit and receive signal on this two and one. And in most cases when they are working, you'll be able to see the TX and RX on this side, uh, which are given as uh, LEDs, uh, they will actually be blinking when you'll be transmitting or receiving a signal based on this Arduino. Um, that's more on the digital section of the Arduino, which is basically acting as the input and output. Uh, then we have a ground. This ground is usually close to this digital uh, input and outputs. And uh, any device that you connect in all these uh, digital ports, then it has to be grounded. And if you want to ground it, then you need to use uh, this uh, port, which is labeled uh, TMD. If you see all of them are active, they are basically active when you uh, place the cursor and those ports are basically active online. Uh, in most cases, if you want to get a wire from here, just connect, it comes out. Eh? But now you just need to understand uh, the physical structure only faster. Then we have the other ports which are also important, given by A0 to A5. And please note that these are analog inputs. They're basically analog. That's why they are labeled here analog in. And there are six of them given by A0 to A5. Uh, so most of the time we'll be connecting our digital, I mean our analog inputs here, which are given by an example of a potentiometer. 
um, a light um, dependent resistor for most of the sensors which I basically analyze. Uh, but on this digital section, we connect mainly the digital devices which are given by uh, like an LED, you can have a buzzer, uh, which can either be analog or digital. In fact, an LED can also be acting as uh, analog output when you connect it to 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, or 11 based on the PWM. That's pulse with this modulation. A concept that we use to convert the digital output here to analog. So that's about A0 to A5, which are our analog inputs. And on this side, we have the power uh, section uh, down here. You can be able to see uh, that we have the in. Uh, this way, you can supply a DC voltage, which is basically from 9 to 12 volts. If you want to supply to this device, right, it can be used, of course, by the other devices, or it can be used by the Arduino. And then you can supply from spots then there is one ground here another ground please note these grounds can be used for the same function in most cases uh, you connect your device the one which requires a ground you need to ground it here um, it's the same as the other ground here which you can apply uh, in the same manner then five volts this is a five volt output which you can use with the devices that you have connected here or the digital devices that will be connecting here. So this will be the analog devices, digital devices, which can be connected there. And uh, you can supply them with five volts if they require, or you can also use 3.3 .3 volts because there are some devices which may not require high voltage. Please know that you need to check on the ratings of your devices so that you either apply 3.3 .3 or five volts. Because if you apply five volts to a device which requires 3.3, it can get damaged. This usually happens with like um, uh, the Bluetooth module, um, where you need to be very careful when you are supplying power to that. Then also another device is the touch sensor, and many others, uh, which you need to make sure that you check on the power requirements and the voltage requirements. Then this side is basically reset that port. You want to reset. Uh, your port, because uh, or you want to reset your device, the Arduino, then you can externally reset it from here. Uh, but there's another reset which is here, which you press on. Yeah. Um, so in most cases, when you're resetting, you are restarting a program. So if a program was running, it has gone to a given point, then you want to restart it. Then you actually reset either from here or you can reset by using this uh, button that we have at this point. Then the I.O. reference is for input output reference. And uh, the A reference is analog reference where you can apply an analog input, which will be used as a reference uh, value uh, when you want to apply with the Arduino uh, device. So that's about the ports, uh, the ones which are commonly used. You actually realize that uh, digital ones very commonly applied, the ground here, and also uh, the power here, 3.3 uh, volts, 5 volts, these grounds, though V in is not commonly applied, A0 to A5 is also applied a lot. In most of the courses that I take, uh, these are the main ones that I actually use A0 to A5, then ground, ground, 5 volts, 3.3 volts, and then the digital 0 to 13 uh, plus this ground here. So the other um, sections of this device which are appearing physically, we have the, uh, there is a, a button switch here which is basically for resetting, I've indicated that. Uh, this is for the USB port. And you can see this way you can connect uh, your device to the computer or to the mobile phone. When you're using it with the computer, you connect it directly with this USB cable. But if you're connecting to a mobile phone, then you need to use an OTG plus this cable. Uh, sometimes you want to upload a program, 
are using a mobile phone or power this device using a mobile phone, then that's what you need to do. Please note that this one is mainly for supplying power to the board, uh, the Arduino board, from those devices I've mentioned, either computer or a mobile phone, um, or any other device which can be able to use power through the USB representation you have here. But you can also use it for uploading programs. That's another main function. When you do a program in your computer, then you need to upload it uh, to this uh, board using the USB. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is another chipset that is closer to the USB, and it will be converting or transforming the USB levels to the Arduino levels for easy understanding. Then there is an LED here, which is given L. L. Uh, please note that this one is usually connected to the TIN internally, so that when anything that you connect to the TIN with an LED, as it comes on here, this one will also be coming on. So it's usually an internal LED. You don't have any other or any device and you want to form or you want to make a very small experiment um, from maybe the coding uh, and uh, you want to see what's happening, then with the Arduino and this LED, you can actually do the simplest experiment of putting it on and off. Then this is just to indicate that your Arduino is connected to power. Uh, it's also another LED. And uh, when you've connected your Arduino to power, then uh, it also comes on. Uh, the other one, So the other devices we have are like um, uh, this. This one is a transistor used for power regulation. The power that is coming from the USB or the one coming from this port, uh, then will be regulated using uh, this device. And uh, this is where if you want to deploy the Arduino, you connect to power using an adapter. Usually there's an adapter that you connect here uh, to give us power uh, to the Arduino. In most cases, when you want to deploy it, as in you put a program in this, and then you want it to run out there where you want to apply it, then you need to power it from here. And that power will be regulated because uh, using this device. So this is the uh, then this is an oscillator. Usually oscillators produce waveforms, uh, which can be applied, square waveforms or other types of waveforms. Uh, then this is one of the most important devices that we have in this Arduino, which is actually the brain. It's the brain, the Arduino, and it's the one which will be receiving commands uh, to process, to receiving data to process. It will also be giving us out data after processing. And it can also be used to give out commands once they are going to those different devices. They are actually processed from uh, this point. So this is the Arduino uh, processor or the Arduino brain, as we can actually call it. Uh, it has 28 pins, and uh, it's usually called uh, at mega 328. Uh, so it's one of the most important devices. It can actually be detached. You can get it out. And uh, if you want to use it uh, elsewhere, it can be applied as long as you know the pinouts of all these um, terminals that are coming out of the microcontroller. So, and I believe that should be uh, most of the devices, most of the sections, uh, which are very important to the Arduino that uh, one would require to know. And uh, please note that this is very commonly applied, the USB, because you need to upload the program, you need to power the Arduino, you want to upload the program, and then the digital input and output plus the grounds. That's also three volts, five volts, these grounds you have here, and the analog uh, input. So, Thank you for 
are listening to me.